question number 91. It is related to Young's double slit experiment. Here is my screen. Interference pattern we observe at the screen. Fringe width is lambda d by small d. Here they are giving us two wavelengths. Lambda 1 is 12,000 angstrom and lambda 2 is 10,000 angstrom. Naturally, the beta depends upon lambda. More lambda, more width. Less lambda, less width. At the center, their central bright fringe will overlap. Now, we want to find where they, are, they will meet again or the maximas will con coincide again. That condition is n1 lambda 1 equal to n2 lambda 2. That means, n1 upon n2 equal to lambda 2 by lambda 1. Here, lambda 2 is 10,000, lambda 1 is 12,000 giving me 5 by 6. That means, they again will overlap at the position where this light is having its fifth maxima. That means, distance will be 5 beta. Here, we will take beta for wavelength 12,000 angstrom. 5 lambda d given 2 meter and small d is given in the problem 2 millimeters. So, the answer for this problem will be 6 millimeter. Option number 3 is my correct answer. Question number 109 is related to magnetic dipole moment of a bar magnet. Here a bar magnet is given, say pole strength is m, small m and length of the bar magnet is L, then its magnetic dipole moment is m into L. Now we are changing its shape. Naturally, the effective length has changed. In the diagram, this angle is given 60 degree. Naturally, this length is equal to this length is R forming a equilateral triangle. That means, this distance is also R. So, I can say new magnetic dipole moment is small m into R now. Here, this arc length is L, radius is R arc length by radius is angle in radians it is pi by 3. So, r is 3 l by pi. If I put it here m 3 l by pi m and l is giving me capital M the previous value of magnetic dipole moment. So, m 3 by pi it will be the new magnetic dipole moment and here in the option number 3 is my correct option answer is 3. This problem is related to the presence of uh, a current loop in magnetic field. As you know, when we place a current loop in a uniform magnetic field, uh, net force is always uh, 0, but uh, uh, it experiences a torque and torque is given by the relation torque equal to m cross b. And we can see that when m vector and b vector are in the same direction, torque will be 0. And when m and b are in the opposite direction, again torque will be 0. But when m and b are in the same direction, it will be the case of stable equilibrium. And when m and b are in the opposite direction, it will be the case of unstable equilibrium. That means, we can say that it will be in equilibrium for two orientation. Uh, when m and b are in the same direction, it will be the case of stable equilibrium. And when m and b are in the opposite direction, it will be the case of unstable equilibrium. And hence, the option number 1 is correct of answer. This problem is related to elasticity. 
Young's modulus is T by A stress upon strain. Here y equal to T by A L by delta L. So, delta L is equal to T L Y A. Naturally, the extension will depend upon length and it is inverse to cross section area. To get the, the uh, answer, we will put different value of L and A in the relation and we will observe that option number 2 in which length is 50 centimeter and diameter is 0.5 mm. For this value of L and A, actually we will calculate A using this diameter value and we will find that the extension will be maximum for this data and hence the option number 2 is my correct option.